Amen. Amen. Don't forget to pay for our family. And don't forget to pay for Pookie because her neck's still hurting. Don't forget to pay for our family. All right, sister. Yeah. Yes, right, yes, yes. Yes, yes. I'm going to ask a special prayer um, for the um, Hodges family. Um, I try to keep them lifted up. It's a family that has a multiplicity of issues going on, but I believe God is able. And so yes, I, I keep their name in prayer. <clears throat> and also, um, if you can remember to pray, um, pray for me um, on this road in dialysis. There seem to be some complications that are rising, but I know God is going to fix all of that. And Amen. Um, I just want you to remember in prayer, um, if you can remember just to um, touch that particular issue um, that I'm dealing with even right now. Amen. 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 If there, if there be no other requests, um, I don't want anybody to be left out. Is anybody else who has a request? Um, Okay, okay. If there be no other requests, um, Deacon Lathan, would you lead us um, in prayer tonight, if you will? Amen. Amen, amen. Uh, amen. Thank you, Bishop. God continue to bless you. Um, mm -hmm. Let us humbly go before the throne of, of, of grace. Amen. Mm. Our Father. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Your king mm -hmm. and Lord and Lord. Yes, we come to you, Father, as yes. humbly as we can. Yes, we come to you, Father, to give you the thanks, the praise, and the glory, Father. Yes, we Lord. thank you, yes, Father, Lord. for being who you are, you, the great I mm -hmm. am, Father. And Father, yes. we thank you. We thank you, Father, thank you, God. for grace. And we thank you for mercy, Father. Mm -hmm. Father, because if it wasn't for you, we wouldn't be able to just wake up oh, this morning. To oh, see another God. day, Father. So we thank you, Father, and we give you the praise, the honor, and the glory, Father. Father, mm -hmm. you heard and you know all I was with, Father. You know yes, what we're Lord. going through, Father. But, Father, you said if oh, we, not. we, we oh, ask not because we ask not, Father. So we're mm. going to ask by name, Father. Father, we want you yes, to continue Lord. blessing the Wims, the James, and the Beth family, mm. Father. Mm. Continue. Giving them whatever you know that they need, Father. Yeah. Continue mm. healing, Father. <laughs> Continue Hallelujah. delivering, Father. Continue strengthening them, Father. Father, and always bless our elder Robert Shaw Sr., sir. Oh, yes, bless, Father. For he's always evangelizing one way or another yes, to keep Shadow Temple yes. uh, strong, <clears throat> supporting them in any way that he can, Father. Continue mm. blessing our Deacon yes. Shaw. Yes. Ah, uh, mm -hmm. Father, he's not one to complain, Father. Mm -hmm. So keep on blessing him with good health, strength, and a sound mind, Father. Father, yes, Lord. All those that need blessings, Father, the blessings of healing, healing, Father. Here, yeah, continue healing our sister Michelle Jr. Continue yeah. strengthening our daughter Michelle Jr. Continue yes. strengthening and, and and helping our minister Carl with her husband, yes. Father. Yes. Father. Yes. Continue blessing our victim. Continue yeah. our blessing our victim, Father. Let the hand of the great physician, Father, wave over him, Father. You know whatever ailment he's going through, Father, you yeah. are the great physician. And you can heal, Father. And yeah. you are a miracle worker, Father. Yes, you are. Father, yeah, continue blessing the Hodges family. Yeah, Lord. Bless them with <clears throat> continued strength, Father. Continue strength. Peace of mind and deliverance where they whatever they need, Father. Give it to them, Father, because you are a way maker, Father. Father, for those that need deliverance, Father. Those no matter what it is, Father. Deliverance from drugs, alcohol, uh, uh an addiction. As our last uh, Bible study was about. An addiction, Father, is an addiction. Father, deliver those that need to be delivered, Father. You said. Call on me. Whatever you need or desire in life, call on me. And I'm standing there waiting, waiting for your request. Yeah. And Father, we're requesting that you continue to strengthen our elder, yeah. our elder Juanita Ray, Father, yeah. such that she can continue standing out there on the battlefield, yeah. evangelizing, compelling people to seek ye first. Yeah. Seek ye first. Yeah. Trust and believe in God. 
Sometimes she don't feel well, Father, but she still pressed her way, Father, and continues to strengthen her husband, Deacon Ray. Yeah. That he can always be there to continue loving and supporting her in every way that he can, Father. And Father, if it be thy will, Father, let's sprinkle a little blessings towards the Latham family as well, Father. Continue yes. healing, Father. Continue delivering, Father. Continue blessing us, Father, this family, in whatever way that God wanted, that you wanted, Father. These things we humbly act. In the love and Savior, Jesus Christ, and always by the unction of the Holy Spirit, yo, yo, Holy Spirit, we say amen, amen. and amen, amen and amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Amen. Yes, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, Lord. Thank you. Thy will be done, Father. Heal, Lord. Yes, Hallelujah. Deliver, Lord. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Um, Keep them safe, Lord. Protect the children, Jesus. Father. Jesus. Yes, Lord. Thank you very much. Yeah. Oh. Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, hold on. Hold on just a moment. Amen. I have a little bit of difficulty here. Amen. Amen. Uh -oh. uh, Father. Jesus. Thank you. Keep our doctor prefer uh, Perkins. Keep us strong, Father. Yes, Lord. We know you won't put no more on than what she could bear, Father. But keep us strong, Father. Yes, yes Lord. Thank you, Jesus. There you go. You back. Hallelujah. And amen. 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 All right. Can y'all hear me? Yes, yes sir. Yes. Down and clear. Man. Okay. For some reason, my I am not hearing you all for some reason. You know, he is? No, it's not coming through. One second. One second. Hold on. Thank you, G. The devil was messing with me tonight. But I got something for you. Thank you we can hear you and see you good, sir. I got something for him. But you got a you got a good word for us tonight. A good lesson coming for. Us. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> all right. All right. We're live and in color now. Okay. All right. All right. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. God bless. You all right. Amen. Oh, all Amen. is well. I'm I'm back. <laughs> Amen. Okay. Amen. All right. I wanna I wanna introduce a situation um that most of us at one point or another have had to deal with. Uh, may still be dealing with um, because this thing called life mm. is very, very meticulous. Yes, it is. And <laughs> it is the plan of God to introduce things to us um, because we are in our destiny. There are yes. many plateaus and levels that we have to deal with to get to where we're going. Amen. But one of the things that we that we're going to encounter at one point or another, or even in a consistent basis, if it's the plan of the enemy, is dealing with difficult people. Mm. Mm. Uh, it always seems to be an, um that someone somehow or another you're gonna face, whether it be friend, family, co-workers, neighbors. Um, it can be a multiplicity of individuals, um, but somewhere along the line, there's going to be some difficult issues or difficult people that we've got to interface with. And it is going to challenge our situation and opposition with God because the enemy would have you uh, to step away from your situation or position with some situations that he has in mind. The thing that the enemy first wants you to do is to lose your influence. Hmm. Because if you lose your influence, you can't get in on people and be successful. Because the first thing that you have done when you have lost your influence is people say, well, I can't listen to you because 
I really saw what you did yesterday, last night, this morning. If you did something that was reflective of something evil, and we got to be careful because the Bible tells us uh, not to recompense uh, evil for evil. Amen. Uh, because it challenges us that you can't return fire when fire is being dealt with on you. And the first thing that we want to do is we want to return. You kill my cat, I want to kill mm -hmm. your dog. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. you, you, you dealt with a situation that I didn't like, and I'm going to make sure you experience something you don't like. So we have to be careful about revenge. We got to be careful about recompensing evil for evil. Because what happens is you no longer become the victim. You now become an individual that God has to deal with. You don't need to position yourself for the anger and the wrath of God. Amen. No it's a terrible thing to fall into the hands of an angry God. Right. And so we got to be careful. I want to talk about that tonight. Um, I want to begin with Proverbs 15 and 1. The scripture there, and I'm going to, I have a different interpretation. It's a little bit more simpler um, so that we can deal with um, some things that will be very, very understood. Very misunderstood. Um, again, I want to give thanks to God and for our pastor for giving me this opportunity just to see you on tonight. Um, we certainly salute him and his family in the ministry. Uh, but Proverbs 15 and 1 says, a soft answer, a soft answer turns away wrath, but a harsh word stirs up anger. You may have a little different interpretation, but this is a little bit more simpler terms. So we got to be careful when we answer an issue. And oftentimes the enemy is going to set the trap to begin to poke at you so that it can begin, he wants to stir up a nature in you that you may be trying to suppress, but he wants it to come out so that you can lose your influence, <clears throat> you can lose the circumstance of being able to be a very credible witness. Because if you act the fool, I'm just going to say that very plainly, if you act the fool when it comes down to the response of somebody who has been placed on assignment to drive that particular part of your personality, you lose all the way around. You lose your influence, you lose your, your, your witness, you lose all of that, your credibility, because people will always remember how you acted. People will always remember how you showed yourself. If mm -hmm. you showed yourself in righteousness, that's one way of, being, of having a situation of exposure. But if you showed yourself in an ugly way, people will remember that particular part of your character. Mm -hmm. Now, you can come mm -hmm. behind them and want to talk about all the scriptures you want. You can come behind that and think that you, you, you're doing such a wonderful, splendiferous, righteous kind of uh, thing, but they remember, wait a minute, but yesterday you acted up. We heard you cussing. We heard you talking about you're going to fight. You may have even had a tussle with somebody. They remember that. So when you come back to try to witness you don't have no credibility. Mm -hmm. So that it, it, it behooves us to be careful how we respond to things. A lot of us just don't understand. The enemy is going to send something your way. There's going to be some missiles sent your way. That's why the scripture tells us that the, the, you know, the, you know, the, no weapon that's formed against you shall prosper. But that's, that's because it doesn't have the power to prosper. Exactly. But if you let it prosper, it will tear up a whole lot of things. So we got to make sure that we're on the right side of the attack. The attack is coming. And guess what? It's coming through people who means something to you. 
comes through people in your family, people in your circle, people that are in your neighborhood, people that you that you have some kind of relationship with, and you wonder why they turned all of a sudden. You wonder why there's a new personality in this person who you thought you knew so well. We understand that the enemy is sending different people in your way. And all he's looking for in them is just an eased enough spirit for him to get in and start something. Now, you may jump back and say, well, I didn't start it. But yeah, but how did you respond to it? Our response is what God is looking for. So a soft answer, Proverbs 15, is what can turn away the wrath. You don't have to get ugly because somebody said something ugly to you. And sometimes we, before we can grab ourselves, we have responded just as late as they brought it. Amen. Amen. I amen. Y'all don't have to say nothing. But that then comes the issue that we begin to deal with issues on the strength of how they came. I want to go to Romans 12 and 8, 12 and 18, rather. Romans 12 and verse number 18. There's interpretation that says, if possible, so far as it depends on you, live peaceably with all men. I, I, I want to challenge you tonight, uh, believers, because what we've got to do is be so ready for peace that we can conquer the fiery knots of evil. You got to be so much of a love of peace that you you eat it, you sleep with it, you depend on it, and you are you are you are gathered together in peace so that when something comes to trouble your peace, you react automatically. Oh no, no, we're not gonna do that. No, no, we're in peace. We're living in peace, we're walking in peace, we're dealing with peace. We've got to deal with that so that peace becomes something that, that you deal with so that mess and garbage, you become allergic to it. I wonder if y'all are hearing me tonight. And that becomes the thing that is troubling to the saints of God because the peace is so much under attack that sometimes we can't handle it. We got to respond the wrong way. We're pushed to respond the wrong way. We're prodded to respond the wrong way. It's not an accident. It's the enemy's attack Man. to get you to to get you to act ugly, to get you to act out of character, to get you to, again to lose your influence, to lose the situation that you tend to think that is very, very valuable. And that God can be able to protect. So as far as, as, as it depends on you, live peaceably, especially them that are the household of faith. The, the church bickering ought not to ever occur where people are following this philosophy. Ought that never come where individuals are, are, are having all kinds of words against each other. No, we've got to be individuals that, that are lovers of peace. Love, we love it. Not like it, not have it as a, you do unto me, and I'll be peaceful unto me, I'll be peaceful unto you, and, and, and if you treat me right, I'll treat you right. The world can do that. And they ain't got no Holy Ghost. They ain't got no, no, no situation where they're dealing with uh, something that they are living uh, living in. They, are, they don't have ever in their view. We have no bickering and arguing in heaven. What did she do?
the devil is a lie. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Jesus. Mm. All right, all right. I'm getting a text to see and I'm breaking up. Am I breaking up? Hello? You were. Oh, can y'all hear? Okay, can y'all hear me? Yes, we can hear you. I'm okay. Yeah. I don't. I don't want. I see. This is the devil. Don't want y'all to hear this no how. So this, I might mm -hmm. have some technical difficulties. But we're gonna try we to get. Here and see you, sir. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Okay. Let's go to Proverbs twelve and sixteen. All right. Proverbs 12 and 16. All right. The vexation of a fool is known at once, but the prudent ignores an insult. All right. So we know clearly when people act up. We know when they come at us. We know when, you know, they attempt to deal with something um, to raise some kind of issue, they want they want they want an exchange. They want an argument. You know, they want some kind of um, situation that's going to be volatile. So we know about that when they come. Uh, but it says the prudent ignores an insult. It's good to be able to ignore an insult and whatnot because we don't have to respond to everything that comes our way. We don't have to exchange the ugliness that is being perpetrated towards us. Amen. I know some of us feel that we, 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 we're justified. I might as well get on that side. You know, we feel that we're justified because they said what they said. They came at me wrong. They, you know, they aggravated, my, you know, my situation. But if I am, again, an individual that promotes peace, I'm not going to allow that particular onslaught to trouble my peace. Now, I heard what they said. I heard everything that they attempted to do, but I did not have to enjoin myself. I didn't have to enjoin myself to that particular atmosphere or that mm -hmm. ugliness. And so the prudent ignores the insult. Okay, I was insulted, but I don't have to get to the point that I raise up to the level that they have come to me on. It's a, situ it's a situation, uh, saints of God, that we've got to maintain ourselves. No matter what the atmosphere, no matter what is coming, no matter what individuals seem to be bothering you know, our issues, um, if we give them, I, I always say, and this is my, my thing that I say always, you give whatever you give your attention to, you give it power. Mm -hmm. I think I'm going to say that again. Y'all need to write it down. Whatever you give your attention to, you give it power. Mm -hmm. If I ignore your issue, it's powerless. If I don't respond, because you want you want you want you want me to deal with you, you want me to you you want an argument, you want there to be. But if I don't give it my attention, it's powerless. It's powerless. Some of y'all need to need to operate with that. I'm not gonna give it power. I'm sorry, I'm not gonna pick it power. If I'm gonna give anything power, it's gonna be the righteousness. It's going to be the holiness. It's going to be something that's going to be a credit, you know, to my issues. But it's not going to be that I'm going to give a power to some nonsense. Amen. 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 Yeah. All right. All right. All right. All right. Let's yeah. go to David in Psalm 37, verse number one. Psalm 37. Psalm, Psalm 37. Verse number one. Yes, verse one. <laughs> and we know in there, we know David, that let us know, fret not yourself because of evildoers and be not envious over the workers of iniquity or wrongdoers, for they will soon be cut down. 
mm, like the grass and they wither like the green herb. Trust in the Lord and do good. Dwell in the land and befriend faithfulness. Delight yourself in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart. Commit your way into the Lord. Trust in him. So we know there's a, there's a wealth of issues in Psalm 37 um, that we've got to be able to lasten on to as we unpack it. Um, that we don't have to be fretting. A lot of us fret over foolishness and over what people have done and what they've said and how they've acted. And we've become individuals that uh, become impacted by that, where we are fretting about that. We, we, we worry about it. We go into different kinds of, uh, of, of situational things uh, because of how people act and all around us. And tells us not to even be envious of the workers of iniquity, that even as we see the wrong, we have been introduced to the wrong. We have been impacted by the wrong. Because the Bible declares that they will soon be cut down and they're going to wither. They're going to fade like the grass and the green herb. If we can just hold out, if we can just not en enjoin ourselves with mess and garbage and trash and whatever. Don't let people come up to your to your backyard or, or rather to your front yard and just dump on there. Mm -hmm. Got to be careful who dumps on us. Yes. A lot of us become garbage uh, 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 collectors because they dumping garbage all the time. Some of that stuff you got to just tell them, listen, I, listen, I, I, listen I'm not, I can't deal with it today. Matter of fact, let me let me just tell you, I can't deal with it tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. And let folks know, let you know, you can't dump a whole lot of garbage and whatnot. You know, a lot of stuff that they just done come to make up and they done swelled it up and, and they bring this big old garbage pail and they put it out there on your lawn so that you can deal with it. And now you've got to unpack that foolishness. It's not your issue. Bible tells us, trust in the Lord and do good. Yes. Dwell in the land. That's what we do. We delight ourselves in the Lord mm -hmm. so that we become individuals. He gives us desires of our heart. We commit mm -hmm. our way. We do what God tells us to do. And we trust him. And we depend upon him. And a whole bunch of negativity, negativity will just mess up your life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It'll mess up your peace. It'll cause you to have health issues. It will raise your pressure. It will cause all kinds of things to happen to you that you don't need. Yes. Peace is what we got to have. Peace helps in healing. Mm -hmm. Peace helps in you living a, a, a righteous and, 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 and a fulfilling life. Yes. Amen. Amen. Yeah. And some of us, we don't got to the age now. We don't need all that. Oh, please. No, yeah. no, no, please. Please take that down the street. Please take that down around the corner somewhere, whatever. You know, because I can't. No, no, I can't. I'm sorry. I will pray for you that the Lord will make a way. Yeah. And that's what, that's what I do. That's all I can do for you. I'm sorry about that. Yeah. Amen. 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 All righty. All right, let's go to Proverbs again. We're going to back back to Proverbs 22. Amen. Proverbs. See what Solomon got to say over here. All right, Solomon tells us, make a uh, verse number 24. Proverbs 22, verse number 24. Make no friendship. With a man given to anger, nor go with a wrathful man, lest what's this gonna happen? Lest you learn his ways and entangle yourself in a snare. Mm. What is Solomon saying? Th telling us be careful of who you wrap yourself around. Some of mm. us got some toxic friends. <laughs> Can I tell the truth? Mm -hmm. Some of us got some toxic friends. All that they deal with is toxicity. 
That's what they deal with. They always got a bunch of something going on. Let me tell you. Let me tell you what happened today. I don't want to know what happened today. <laughs> but I didn't tell you. I didn't tell you. I'm telling you what they did. I'm. I don't know what they did. I don't want to know what they did. Make no friendship. We got to make sure that we allow God to pick our friends. I'm going to say that again because somebody missed that. I said mm -hmm. we got to get to the point that we allow God to pick our friends. Yes. Now, why? Because we don't know. We ain't got sense enough to know who, who to be a friend with. <laughs> what? How many friends have we entangled ourselves with and they became enemies down the line? <laughs> or we done changed them. They ain't in our favorite five no more. <laughs> we don't change them. They don't messed up with <clears throat> something. They don't messed up and said something. They don't messed up and, and 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 dealt with some kind of messy kind of stuff. They were messy, and so as a result, you had to depart from their company. But you put years in with fooling with them. Mm. You wish the day that you met them, you crashed, you crossed over on the other street. <laughs> They ain't did nothing but do you to give you heartache, pain. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about some of these, some of these, some of these folks we entangled ourselves with. We made friendship with them because we thought they would be good for our lives. We chose to mm -hmm. hang with them because we were we were kind of, you know, we, we were kind of, you know, they kind of made us laugh and they seemed to be okay and whatnot, but they always had a ton of problems. Mm -hmm. And so the Bible said, don't make no friendship with these mm -hmm. individuals that are given to anger, just given to anger. Folks with a hair trigger angry part of thing. And then, you know, they can fight at the drop of a hat. Given to anger or a wrathful man, one that is always entangled in wrath. Lest what's going to happen is you learn the ways that they have. And you entangle yourself in a snare. Amen. Just, 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 just ad, advice, ad, ad, advice that, that Proverbs gave, that you got to give, uh, uh, Solomon gave, to make sure that we understand where we're at. We, and again, let God pick your friends. God knows who to send into your life that will be a blessing to you. Yes. I don't know about you. I raise both hands and both feet. Can you see them? You can't really see my feet. But oh. I raise them up because I done made a multiplicity of mistakes thinking I knew who, who to deal with in friendship, who to deal with, with with all kinds of stuff, who to deal with, and made a mess. Mm -hmm. I can tell you. Messy, mm -hmm. messy. Made a mess until I had to shut it down. And say, God, from here, from here on in, you know, I, I need you to direct the path. I need you to point the direction. I need you to deal with whoever's coming. If you don't send nobody, that's good. If you send somebody, I know they're going to be a blessing. You've got to be able to let God take the reins because you will crash and burn. Amen and amen. 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 My God, my God. Jesus. All right. All right. Okay, let's go to Jesus, Matthew 5. All right, Matthew 5, verse 10. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when others revile you and persecute you. And utter all kinds or say all kinds of evil against you falsely on my account or for my sake. Rejoice and be exceedingly glad for your reward is great in heaven. For they so persecuted the prophets who were before you. All right. Now. The blessing comes when we're persecuted for righteousness sake. The blessing comes when others revile you and they persecute you 
And they mm -hmm. say all manner of evil against you falsely for mm -hmm. my sake. Mm -hmm. And so we've got to understand that it is the blessing that comes when the attack has been waged. But when we don't respond to the attack with attack, the Bible says the reward is great in heaven. Yes. Because the persecution was not only to you, but to the prophets and others that came before you. So I can still maintain, I would rather have the blessing part of a persecution. I'd rather have the blessing part of situations of evil that are ways against me. Because I know the ending part is to rejoice and to be exceedingly glad because my reward is great in heaven. I don't want to miss my reward because of a knucklehead who keeps bothering me. Come on now. I don't want to miss my reward because of somebody who's on assignment to pull me down from my peace. Mm. I wonder if you hear me tonight. And so I need to make sure that I preserve what is going to be mine. I can't stop the situation of persecution. Yes. I can't stop the situation of the reviling. Mm. But I can stop my flesh from joining in on it. So I'm not going to join the party. I'm sorry. Ain't no need to invite me. I'm not coming. <laughs> Amen. I might got tickets yeah. to the show, but I'm not showing up. <laughs> no, sir. No, ma'am. Well, All right. All right. All right. All right. Okay. I just got one more scripture, and then we're going to open up. And we're going to talk a little bit. All right, let's go to James 3. Remember, we're talking about difficult people, individuals that are on assignment to pull you into that atmosphere that they perpetrate. So James 3, verse number 13. James says, who is wise and understanding among you? By his good conduct, my God, let him show his works in the meekness of wisdom. But if you have bitter jealousy and selfish ambition in your hearts, do not boast and be false to the truth. This is not the wisdom that comes down from above, my God. But it's earthly, unspiritual, demonic. For where jealousy and selfish ambition exist, there is there will be disorder in every vile practice. My God. James is saying a mouthful here. Who is wise and understanding among you? Who is that person? Well, we know him by his good conduct. Let him show his works in the meekness of wisdom. It takes wisdom to be able to keep yourself in the midst of some turbulent issues and, and foolishness that's been sent by the devil. Mm. By his good conduct, I got to have it. Let him show his good work, show his work in the, in the meekness of wisdom. If you have this bitter and jealous, selfish ambition in your hearts, do not boast to be false to the truth because ain't nobody going to listen. But this is not the wisdom that comes down from God. God doesn't have this mixed kind of situation going on uh, for us to be involved in. No, we got to be one way. That, that, that situation, it's earthly, unspiritual, and demonic. For where jealousy and selfish ambition exists, there will be disorder and every vile practice. That's a whole lot of mouthful there James talking about. <laughs> So he gives us to understand what, what side of this coin we're supposed to be on. Yes. What side of issues we're supposed to stand on. And if we do anything contrary to that, then we're going to be on the other side. Where this, wisdom, 
where this wisdom don't come from above, but it's earthly, unspiritual, demonic. And so we got to be careful, saints of God, because sometimes the line can get real thin. But you got to be careful. Don't step over into the dark side. Got to know, as I'm sharing with you, our subject tonight, matter tonight is dealing with difficult people. Amen. 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 All right. All right. I'm through, saints of God. I'm through. I'm through. Oh, I'm through. I'm through. We can, we can now unmute our phones and <clears throat> uh, share, share one with another. Amen. However, the Lord may God. Amen. 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 God bless you, Bishop. The Lord. I, I tell you that that Love was a good, that was a good lesson. That was a good lesson. It was good for my spirit, and it's exactly what's happening in society oh. today. And it brought me right back to my God. What will you do when it's your turn to stand? What you going to do my when God. you're going to stand? The subject matter for tonight, dealing with mm. different people and situations. You know what I'm saying? But I took yes, that sir. all up to being a test. You know what I'm saying? The adversary is always going to come to, to test you. Oh, but you being a, a good and true disciple of God and a disciple of Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. you're going to stand in the fruit at all times. Amen. Despite what they say or what they do, don't be provoked, like you said, Bishop. Don't be provoked to stupid to their level uh, of thinking and, and, and doing things. You understand? Amen. We got to remember that as, as ambassadors mm -hmm. of Christ, because they got when they found out that you proclaim yourself to be a Christian, mm -hmm. a child of the Most High God, they do some unseemly things to provoke you. Amen. The negative thought, the negative mm -hmm. action. You know what I'm saying? But you, you have to walk. You got to walk upright every day. Like they My said, God. the full armor. Put on the full armor at all times. Amen. Because if you got mm. the full armor of God on at all times, you're going to walk daily upright. You're going to minister words. You're going to be compelling people to taste and see. So it's that when you mm. run into that difficult person, that difficult person, like you say, beware. Mm -hmm. We as My disciples God. of Christ, as his ambassadors, as his evangelists, as his ministers, we have to be mindful at all times of who we fellowship with, who we congregate ourselves with, mm -hmm. who we lend an ear to. <laughs> you understand? Like you said, yes, we yes, yes. Listen to ungodly talk and gossip and malicious conversation, we are just as worse as the ungodly person. And you best believe mm, mm, those mm. people are, like I said, uh -huh. are testing you. Like, I told you so. What you always say, Bishop? I told you so. Now mm -hmm. he's supposed, he mm, or she's mm -hmm. supposed to be a man of God. They're going to be the main ones that try to ensnare you into a negative frame of mind. My God. Thank you, sir. Very good lesson, uh, Bishop. Yes, yes. Thank you um, so much. It's amazing that you mm -hmm. picked this topic because I just spoke the words day before yesterday that sometimes the best response is no response. I don't deal with chaos and drama, but just like we have to be like Christ like because I could say to you. Bishop, I really enjoyed your lesson tonight. But if I say, Bishop, I really enjoyed your lesson tonight. Now, I said the exact same thing, but it's not what I said. Mm -hmm. It's how I said it to you. So we got to be mindful of how we speak to people. And, and like you said, everything don't deserve a response from you because people will bring situations in your life that my life was perfectly fine. 
<laughs> now I'm over here dealing with other people issues. So don't take on other people issues and keep being Christ like meek, humble. The word humble, a lot of people find the word humble yourself difficult to do because they not live yes. what speaking. So God bless y'all. Amen. 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 Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Yes, Lord. This is Brother Prima. Yes, sir, Amen. Brother Prima. Mm -hmm. So, like, for, for my concern that uh, my soul, that it brings me back when when I when I do be uh be wise trying to learn to be wise because sometimes Satan comes uh comes against me trying to discourage me for what I do for Christ gonna last. So if I didn't have no mind mm -hmm. to serve God like it's supposed to be, I say, Oh well, I better listen to somebody else that that uh, gonna tell me how to serve God. That's not the real believers what you been learned. I learned from what, what, mm -hmm. what the Bible said. So if the Bible says, yeah. praise me, I'm the one. So I'm gonna pray, listen to what God said, what the word of God said. Yeah. Because that's, mm -hmm. that's more than being careful for what I believe and what I do accept it of my mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so that way I'm going to be careful you know shield up into the word of God before yes, the devil yeah. comes so that's that's how yes. it is yeah. all right I thank God right. for that because I don't want don't want to you know be trying to say uh well God ain't God ain't telling me nothing I'll listen to somebody else that's not the mm. that's not the uh not no Christian believer. I'm not that type of Christian. I'm a Christian that believe, believe the word of God. That's it. Amen. 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 Thank you, Brother Lester and Sister Amen. Mavis. Absolutely. You know, in, interpersonal relationships are what we're gonna have to deal with. We either deal with them um in the positive issue or we deal with them in the negative. And um, that becomes the issues of how we have to be able to respond. Um, Proverbs 20 and 22 says, very, very, and I'm just going to spot that in. It says, it's not for us to say that I will recompense evil, but rather mm -hmm. wait on the Lord and he will save you. Okay. And we got to be Amen. careful again. Again, we got to be very cautious of giving people the same negative energy they give us. Mm -hmm. Be very Amen. careful. Be very careful that the spirit of revenge doesn't mm -hmm. creep into your spirit and then uh, prompt you to do some things um, that would cause your flesh to be satisfied, okay. but cause your spirit to be in controversy. So we got to be very careful. Mm -hmm. Just wanted to share that. Yeah, somebody else um, that may want to share hey, tonight. Hey, yeah, amen. 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 All right, Minister Lacey, all righty. Okay. okay. Like mm -hmm. you were saying about people that that belong to you as family or friends or people that you mm -hmm. take on as associates. But yeah. you have to let, like you said, you have to let the spirit of God lead and guide you as to who these people are. You can tell if you have wisdom and discernment who you want to be bothered with and who you don't want to be bothered with. And mm -hmm. it's a good thing that we have family and we have friends that come to us when we need them to come to us and you, and help us along the way. And we can help them along mm -hmm. the way if they want to be helped. But sometimes they don't mm -hmm. want your help. And sometimes you better know when they want your help and when they don't want your help. So that the negative doesn't mm -hmm. mess with your spirit. So you can keep on <laughs> yes. being righteous and having peace of mind and peace of spirit to know when it's time to just cut some people loose. When you can't cut yes, them loose yes. because they're so close to you, then you just got to keep loving them. What the pastor say? You got to love the mm -hmm. hell out of them. 
and, and let them see that mm -hmm. God is the way and we are all trying to live to get to heaven. I know I am and I don't want nobody yes. trying to hold me back to get where I am leading myself to. I'm trying mm -hmm. to be righteous and peaceful and loving because God is all about love. And if you can't show love, what can you show me? Nothing. Because my God is yes. love. Amen. 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 Absolutely. Absolutely. Sister Connie, the thing that I, I, I live according to this issue, even when folks have problems or they have interactions with you that are negative, I want you to understand who is it that means that much to you that you would allow them to make you miss heaven? Come mm. on now. Nobody. <laughs> who is it? And you don't like them? No. How? And <laughs> when you Nobody. deal with the issue that somebody <laughs> you really can't deal with, you really can't stand <laughs> them, you really can't, I mean, how would you allow them to have power enough to make you miss heaven? <laughs> and you got, to, you, got to, I, you got to, you got to weigh this issue. Is it a kingdom issue? Will it cost me the kingdom just mm. to be able to hate, to hate you? No, <laughs> ma'am. No, sir. Nobody. <laughs> no, you you don't rate that high. You don't you you know no no I don't know nobody living or dead that I would put into place and say that I'm gonna deal with you mm -hmm. and I'm gonna miss heaven. No way. No Thank sir. No ma'am. Uh uh. Amen. God bless you, Sister Connie. I think um 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 uh, uh, uh Minister Best, yeah. you was about to come uh, in. Yeah yeah, I was about to. Thank you. God bless y'all. Yes, God um, bless you, sir. You, you, you know, when I look at this, I know it's in uh, Psalms uh, somewhere where it says, let every person be quick to hear. Oftentimes the word will come forth, but are we prepared to hear it? You know, mm -hmm. and then it says uh, that we should be slow to speak because sometimes we will let our mouths outspot our ears, I'll say. And mm -hmm, mm -hmm. speak before we can get the full thing. And it says, be slow to anger. You know, yes. nobody's a, nobody's is a stranger to being angry. We know that the word also says to be angry and sin not. But sometime mm -hmm. in the flesh, you know, that's why we have to be self-controlled. Yes. You know, yes. but yes. as we grow and as I say, mature, then uh, we should be convicted by actions and there should be improvement. Yeah, because uh -huh. if there's the same thing happening over and over and over again, we can't say that we're walking in the spirit because we're dealing in the flesh. Yes, yes. So we in in agreement with you, because it says uh, for the anger of man, it does not produce the righteousness of God, and in that those of us, mm. you know, and and then we got to be careful. On um, I was talking today. And I, I was looked at uh because I was over in the book of Kings, um, chapter 20 and uh 28. You know, we was dealing with an issue where the Israelites were going up against the Syrians, and the Syrians believed that their gods fought high in the mountains. But if we can pull them down into the valley, then we can beat them. Mm -hmm, and it mm -hmm. went on in that 28 verse, and it was saying that um that a man came. You know, uh, a man of God came and he, he spoke to the king of Israel and said that, thus said the Lord, because the Syrians have said, be careful what you listen to, how, what people are saying. Because the Syrians mm -hmm. have said, somebody have said something, but now what did they do? I allowed my flesh to be overtaken by what somebody said. My God, know, and my take God. me out of the righteousness of God. So in that, you know. I'm agreeing. We got to be real careful. And that's why it says we must repent. And then we got to forgive, you know, mm -hmm. uh, especially those of us that are strong in the faith. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know, we should have Absolutely. a bigger sense of uh, uh, a bigger sense of forgiveness. You know, mm -hmm. sometime we have to take the lowly position. Yes. Yes. You know, yes. and, and, and go forth and, uh, Whatever the case may be, whatever happened, because you want to, you want to calm a situation. So it may take for you to, for us to be humble enough and say, okay, that's my bad. 
I apologize. I don't care if it's my fault or not, but let me take that mm -hmm, first step mm -hmm. into the forgiveness part. That's all I wanted to say. I didn't want, I don't want to be long. We're kind of in the hour there, but yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, we'd be mindful. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. And, and, and make Amen. sure we're hearing Amen, what's Mr. coming Best. Yeah. Absolutely, absolutely. I, I hear what you're saying, and I, I confer with that. Um, just a reminder, too, of Ephesians 4 and 26 tells us that make room for anger or be angry, but don't sin. So we have to be careful. Don't let the mm -hmm. sun go down on your anger and give mm -hmm. opportunity or give place, no yeah. place to the devil. And so we got to know that when we are out of character, when we do the things that are contrary to God's will and his way, and when we get into our flesh, then we give place and opportunity to the devil. So we got to remember that as saints of God, as we as we operate during the day, as we operate on our jobs or in the neighborhood or wherever we are, you can almost know that the enemy might try. Mm -hmm. He might, especially if he can get somebody that, that can take up his assignment mm -hmm. to try to cause there to be some type of controversy. But we've got to know that we give no opportunity or no place to him. Because even in the midst of it, we can be angry. They might be angry. But anger does not have to filter into sin. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Minister Best. Absolutely. Anybody else from, that may want to share with us uh, tonight? Yeah. Uh, praise the Lord, everybody. Bishop, you know that message was for me. Oh, bless God. Bless God. You know, if you remember my testimony, Sunday. <laughs> Amen. Okay. Amen. You know what I'm saying? But um, oh yeah, yeah, yes, yes, yes. I remember that. Absolutely. That God says you can yeah. do it. Mm -hmm. The mm -hmm. that you can be angry and don't sin, you can Amen. be angry and not sin. That's right. Mm -hmm. you know That's saying? right. But the thing, you know, like I says, you know, we go to different situations. Because mm -hmm. during yeah. that situation, I could see where the word said we wrestle against principalities, not the flesh. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. you can see the mm -hmm. principalities coming out of him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I mean, we have a hard fight, but then the word says we have power over the principalities. Yeah. That's right. And, That's right. You know, we do. You know, you always hear me say we got to stop quoting the word or live the word. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and yes. you, know, you know, you said something uh, Bible study back about perfect was maturity. And I could yeah. see maturity mm -hmm. coming in a saint over a period of time, you uh -huh. know? Uh -huh. and, and, and the thing of it is, you know, we talk, but what we're supposed mm -hmm. to be trying to do is be like Christ. Yes, yes. We're never mm -hmm. gonna get there all the way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But that's what we strive to do. Absolutely, absolutely. You, 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 you know what I'm saying? And like I said, you know, if, like I say, thank God for walking in the spirit. Mm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And that's right. That's right. You know, the scripture says too that uh well how does it say is it uh people that go out peacemakers? Amen. Mm. Amen. Peacemakers yes. become mm -hmm. sons of God. Yes. So we strive. That's right, that's right. Blessed all at them. all times. No matter what the situation, mm -hmm. we tried to do a peaceful. And even though, like I says, where it says, get angry, but don't sin. Amen. I yes. was walking away yes. mm -hmm. talking to the person. I was still saying, may God bless you. All right. All right Amen. now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. right. Yeah. Amen. You know, Amen. Saying, and like I said, you know, just like I said the day when I spoke about my Cousin Jackie, it's so good when we see the Lord's work. Yes, Amen. yes, Amen. thank you. Lord. No matter how it is or what it is, it is so good. 
It's good. It, it's good. You know, and that's when we can get up. Those are the testimonies. Yes. That's mm -hmm. right. That's you right. Not thank mm -hmm. God for the car. Thank God for this, that. But when God is working, you know what I'm saying? That's mm -hmm. Yes, sir. And we strive for salvation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, you absolutely. Know, you, another thing you hear me say, please, saints, do not sell the Holy Ghost short. Amen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Those fruits of the Spirit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, so, yes. You know what I'm absolutely. saying? Absolutely. Like you know, when you walk in the Spirit, especially the Spirit is dwelling in you. You know, mm -hmm. people, us, we have something that they didn't have in the Old Testament. Amen. Some of them damn good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? We have Amen. that spirit mm -hmm. dwelling in us. Yes. 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 Thank you. Yes. Yes, sir. That we can make it on our own. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's right. Mm -hmm. You know, and I was thinking about something that I was telling my sister. I said, you know, the 23rd Psalm say, the Lord is my shepherd. Amen. Mm -hmm. And I shall not want. Mm -hmm. Who's the shepherd? Thank you, God. Mm -hmm. Jesus. Yes. Amen. Yes, yes, yes. You know, Jesus mm -hmm. is the Lord. Yes, he is. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? David yes. was talking about him then. He could have yes. said, God is my shepherd. He didn't say God. He said the Lord. Lord. Amen. Mm -hmm. God, mm -hmm. God bless mm -hmm. you. I enjoyed the lesson. Yes, Amen. yes. God bless you. Oh, thank God. Thank God, sir. Yes, Amen. God bless you, Deacon. All right, all right, all right. If there be anybody else that wants to share tonight, we certainly want to give you time. We don't want to cut anybody off before we pray and be on our way. Uh, anybody else that would like to share, we want to give you a moment. <coughs> all right. Mm. All right, speak now. I'll hold your peace now. <laughs> Jesus, thank you. Lord. <laughs> all right, all right. We don't want to belabor the time um any further. We're going to prepare now uh to be able to pray and um to be able to be on our way. Um wanna ask since we've been a lady in family tonight for prayer, we're gonna ask Mr. Lacey if she would uh lead us out in prayer um those of you who have a prayer request you may want to submit that before um closing amen mm -hmm. all right all any prayer requests that, that we may have missed or you may want to add i want to add this add sister virginia to our prayer list and okay um, okay the, the right. young ladies that yes, yes. became members, but they are like in Angie. and out, Sister Angie and <clears throat> um the one with the baby little boy. We need to pray for them. Yes, yes. Yes, we do. Yes, I'm missing members. Okay. Amen. Uh, Amen. I want to uh, add my nephew Jabir. Jabir Walton. Jabir. And my niece. Jabir Walton. Jabir Walton. And my niece, Dania Sims, his sister. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, I know she was going through this weekend and Paradise. And yes. Dr. And yes. Dr. yes and Dr. Perkins. Dr. Perkins. All right. Also, um, Bruce Gilliam, we're going to add him to the list. Bruce Gilliam, want to add him to the list also. Uh, one of the brothers here at the church. I mean, we here at the building, rather. Bruce Gilliam. <laughs> Amen. Yeah. Also, uh, Gerald Smith. Gerald yeah, Smith. yeah, Brother Gerald. Brother yeah, Gerald. Brother Gerald. Mm -hmm. and what's Amen. The Amen. What's the other brother's name that just, um, Robert, Brother Robert? Brother oh, Robert. Robert Jenkins. Robert Jenkins. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What's the uh, tomorrow? All right. Deacon. Deacon Ray. 
Deacon Ray, you said what was what? What was what now? No, go ahead. I'll say it after she threw the prayer. Right. Okay. Let us pray. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Yes. Yes, Lord. Thank you, yes, Lord. Lord. We thank you, Lord. We we come humbly as your children. Hallelujah. Yes. Lord. And we say thank you, Lord. Thank you. We ask you, Father God, humbly. Yes. We ask you to always yes. keep us and help us to stand for yes. righteousness. Yes, sake. Lord. Yes, Lord, Father God. Mm. We thank you, Father, for continuing yes, to Lord. listen to every one of yes, us, Lord. giving us all we need to stand. Mm. But we can't do anything without keep the Holy strong, Spirit Father. keeping Lord. and helping Lord. us to help stand. Us stand we thank you, Father God, mm. for each and everybody that's on the prayer list yeah. tonight, Father God. And all of us that mm. are not on the list, we yeah. thank you, Father God, Bless us all, for giving us all Lord. we need, giving yes. them all that they need yes, to help Lord. them make it in yes. to help them come all Bless the them, way. True mm. believers, yes. Father God, to trust and believe in you. Yes, yeah. To do all we can do to help our fellow yes. brothers help and sisters Lord. to make it, yes. to help them to make it. Yes, Lord. Sometimes they may not want yes. our help. Okay, keep mm. on loving them. Help us to keep on loving them with the blood, each and every God. one of them, Father God. Mm. Father, because your love is strong, yeah. Father God. Without your love, where would we be? Yeah. Mm. It's all about your mercy and grace mercy, that we are living mercy, right Lord. now, Father God. It's nothing that mm. we have deserved yeah. or warrant. It's all about your grace. Yeah. Everything mm. we have is all about your grace. Mm. Yes. We mercy, thank you, Lord. Lord. And we thank you, Father, that grace and mercy is New to us each and every day. Thank you. Yes. And we thank you for the precious blood of Jesus. That yes. Covers thank us, you, Father. Father. Jesus. The power mm. in the blood. The power yes, in the blood. The power in the blood of Jesus. Yes. And we thank you, Father, God, for the covering of the precious blood of Jesus yes. in our lives. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Children, Father, yes. God. Protect the children. Oh, Father. yes, Lord. Protect mm -hmm. our children. Keep them Father, safe, Father. Because the enemy yes. is truly out to get the little lamb, Father God. Yes. He's not yes, worried Lord. about the sheep. Keep them safe. He's, worried. He's, worried. He's trying to capture the mm -hmm. lamb. The children, to Keep our children yes. coming by the blood of Jesus. Keep them safe, Father. Each and every day before they walk out your house, you plead the blood of yes, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes. Plead the blood. Because the enemy, he's a sneaky little cunning mm -hmm. man. He helps you just to do this mm -hmm. thing. Protect our children. For them. Keep them and we safe. thank you, Father God, mm. to keep covered by your blood. Keep yeah. us all covered by your blood. Yes, Father. Because yes. We got and we peace. thank you, Lord. We thank you, Father God, for the peace yes. that you have Lord. given. Thank you, Father. And the wisdom thank you, that we Father. have to be used. Thank you. And the five fruits of the Spirit. God, thank, thank you, Father. Yes, Lord. Father God, mm -hmm. yes. for love, Lord. Thank you, Father. Our yeah. God is love. Yeah. There's nothing we can do without yeah. his love. Thank you, Father. He loves us. Thank you. Yes, Lord. Yes, he loves us more and more each day. We Thank can see you. it. Thank you, Father. When we go to our, our, our houses, yeah. and we come back in. It's because of the love Your of grace and, mercy, and the Father. blood that covers us. Because Thank you. there's so much evil in this world. Oh, yeah. We oh, know it. My God. We don't walk in it, and yeah. we don't have to participate yes, in it. Father. And we thank my you, Father, God. keeping us Keep on the straight and narrow Keep path, Lord Jesus. We thank you, Father God, yeah. for all yes, we have Lord. and all have because we are your children yeah. and you have purpose for our lives. Yes. Help us to walk in our purpose, yes, Father God. God. Help us to live yes, our Lord. purpose yes, Lord. Lord. so that we can reach the mm. ultimate mm. Yes. of being with the Father in heaven. When we leave here and we be with Jesus, Jesus, we have to live to be with Jesus. Jesus. Oh, yes. And we can't be doing no backsliding, no crossing eyes and mm. no rolling mm. eyes and mm. no walking. Yes, to walk in the spirit. Uh, we got to walk in the yes, spirit. Of the yes. Not in the spirit yeah. that in this world. Yeah. Thank you, Lord, Father Thank God, you, Father. for keeping us. Thank you, Father. Keeping us. Thank you. And helping us mm. be who you want us to be, yes, your Lord. children. We thank you, Father. You yes, Lord. To do. Thank you, Father. Being who Jesus mm. said to do. Yes. And the Holy Ghost to remind us. Yes. Thank you, Father. He reminds us Thank you for how we're supposed to walk. Yes. How we're supposed to talk, uh -huh. how we're supposed to live, oh, yeah. and how yes. we're supposed to everybody, yes, no matter what they look like, okay. what culture or 
skin color, whatever. Mm, mm, Everybody's mm, the same. Mm, 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 Everybody yes, the yes, same in the blood. Yeah. Everybody's blood is red. Yes. 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 walking around who has God protect us from that. In Christ Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord 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 the living word. Thank you, Lord. Thank, Thank you, Lord. You. Son of God. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Bless your name. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 We just thank you tonight for answered prayer, for being able to be before the Lord in his presence and in the presence of the saints of God. How beautiful it is to dwell. With the Amen. Saints of God. Amen. Yeah. Amen. And we thank God. We thank God. Thank God. He just keeps doing great things. Oh, thank yes, he does. Amen. Amen. Great. Yes, thank God. Jesus. Yes, sir. Thank you, Lord. I think I'm not mm -hmm. mistaken.